What's up guys, welcome to another product feedback video. We'll be checking out two products in this video unboxing and review. The first is the MindNet N900. And what this device here offers is a broadband router with dual band speeds. So you get 2.4 gigahertz and 5.8 gigahertz wireless networking. But something that's really cool is that it includes a one terabyte in, store, in storage for things like backing up your media server, or sharing information across a network, which is gonna be something pretty interesting to test out in a bit to see how that functions. Now, there's obviously different models that you can buy. This is just showing you the few different ones. This is the highest end model that they offer, giving you full access to all the different features. So let's get straight into the unboxing. Now, you might be wondering, why would you really wanna buy one of these? Well, the reality is that a lot of us have like a Mac in the house as well as a Windows computer, and sometimes you wanna share information across all those devices. And setting up a central point to have all that information stored on is a really good way, a simple way of accessing everything. Not only that, but if you have a friend that comes over and wants to copy over some of your photos or movies that you've got, you can just give them the access to the network and they will be able to copy that off without any difficulty in setting up a network. Now this is, like I said, different from the My Live stuff because it has a router in there. The My Live gear is like an external hard drive that attaches to your current router. This is kind of all the integrated into one. So inside the box, as you can see here, you get the network cable, the power adapter, and you get the MyNet N900 inside the box. Now it actually looks pretty cool. Definitely it's a very nice looking router. It's not something that you normally see. They usually tend to be like ugly light cream color or something like this. And they've put this kind of texture on the top here, which is actually when you run rub your finger over, it's like a rubbery sort of setup. Now on the front, you've got a couple LEDs. You've got the power, wireless, web, WPS, as well as the hard drive indicator, and then the WSP button. On the back, we've got the power, power in, your four ethernet connections, the internet, USB drive and Kensington lock. There seems to be a little fan. What I did notice is actually the fan gets quite loud and you can actually hear it running at night and I've got it in my bedroom. So it's just something that to take note of if you're gonna purchase one of these. Just giving you a close up look at that cool texture and the design, you can see it's got this like glossy side edges into this rubbery sort of finish. I'm assuming it's better for the um, antennas. Now before I get into a review of the N900, let's look at this other adapter here, which is the MyNet Wi-Fi Range Extender. And what this allows you to do is boost the signal across your house. So if you don't have reception, say in the lounge room or in your bedroom, you can put this halfway down through your house, press the WSP button, WPS button on the other router, and boom, you've got yourself connected. The only thing is, is that you can't have both the 2.4 and 5.8 gigahertz frequencies. You can only boost the strength of one of them. And there's a little switch on the back of this that allows you to do it. But for those looking to expand your network or have a kind of a dead spot in your house, this might be the device to get. And it also has that same kind of look and design to what the N900 has. Inside the box, you're getting a, I think that's the ethernet cable, as well as the power cable and the actual device. What's pretty cool with the N900 live sort of setup is for a home network, they've got a variety of products. So I also have their Western Digital Live TV box, which allows that to connect to the network and also be accessed as an external drive. So you can just copy and dump things over to that. It's kind of one way that I have my network at home set up pretty neatly. So anyway, let's take a closer look at the wireless extender. As you can see here, it's got that same kind of nice looking design. On the back, we've got the power WPS button, and that's that little switch to expand the, either the 2.4 or 5.8 gigahertz. I was having an ethernet port, so if you want, you can have it from wireless to ethernet if you don't have wireless in the adapter. They also can be wall mounted. It looks quite cool. Like I reckon Western Digital has done a pretty good job when it comes to designing these devices. Okay, so the next thing we'll be looking at here is the N900's admin control. And as you can see here, they've done a pretty neat job of laying out all the router's information and things that you need to set up your internet and run everything smoothly. But one thing is a little bit different with this is that the fact that there's an internal hard drive on this router. So you actually have to set up the drive. Now what I did was, if you go over to set up storage here, you go next, Next, you can create either a public account, so anyone on the on the network can see this, or a user account, meaning you have to log on to access the drive. But the thing is, in comparison of this to the My Live, which is like just a standard Ethernet-enabled hard drive, the interface is different. 
And what I mean by that is you can't actually make folders. It seems that once you make a user account, you just have to make folders in the public folder, which is really a private folder, if you follow what I mean. It's a little bit weird, and it would have been nice if you could just make a folder like a normal external hard drive. It's just something they can improve in the future. Apart from that, obviously, you can set up your wireless. You can connect to the internet, set all that up. You can add devices. So this means here you can add things through WPS, which means pressing a button on the router and then pressing the WS on, the, on a device and it should connect. The remote access is the coolest bit. What you can do is you can add an account. And what it allows you to do is if you're anywhere in the world, you can sign in using the Western Digital app and then view everything that's in your hard drive or through their website, which is pretty neat indeed. I think the layout is pretty good. The only thing that's weird is just the fact that they got this storage set up which just doesn't seem to set up as nicely as I would like it to do or as I've kind of become accustomed to with a normal hard drive. Um, but yeah, apart from that, obviously, I mean, you can set up some more advanced things, but overall, the interface seems pretty straightforward and I think it to be a, a quite a nice uh, menu and easy to access. So there you guys have it. That's been my review of the N900 MyNet wireless router as well as the unboxing of the wireless range extender. To be honest, if you're looking for a great solution in in-home networking, and like I said, it allows you to connect up a few devices together without any real difficulty, these seem to be a good solution on the market, especially with its simple to set up and easy to use interface. The only thing that I do make sure you download is the latest drivers to set this up, because I noticed that the CD that it came with just seemed to fail every time I try to set it up. This has been Muhammad with Product Feedback and peace be with you.